Hey everybody, Brandon Mason here along with my buddy Dan Picard and we're going to be looking at, in this review at the new Ozonix unit uh, that has really turned out to be more of a game changer than we thought for bow hunting. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful reviews just like this. Ozone, which I never knew that it killed scent. And I'm, I'm a bow hunter, I always thought if you just play the wind you don't have this problem. Right. But actually testing and understanding what ozone does to scent molecules or to scent made me a believer. What ozone is, is a, it's O3. It's so oxygen that you breathe is O2, ozone's O3. It comes in contact with whatever scent molecule is out there mm -hmm. and it attaches to it, neutralizes it and oxidizes it. And that's why the smell goes away. And there's so many uses for ozone, it's incredible. Ozonics has had units similar to this, but this one actually has a lot of improvements compared to their other units. But before I even get into that, I mean, you, I came into your office after my spring bear hunt and I'm like, dude, I, I, the guy who's let me sit in his tree stand over the bear bait that he had up in Idaho basically said, you cannot sit in that stand unless you're using these Ozonics units. I'm not gonna let you because you're gonna screw everything up. And I watched it work. I watched bears coming in behind me, downwind of course. Yep. And uh, as the Ozonics line says, you, ch you chase the wind so you get that, um, that O3 blowing downwind because you want it to cut all your scent out. And I saw bears sniffing the air, being very cautious, coming and checking you know, the bait site. What it does is it creates that blanket over your scent emission yep. and so your scent comes off whatever that might be it comes in contact with that blanket of ozone neutralizes it yep right and in it and you'll see right here we have with this is the the hr 500 this is the new piece from ozonics it has a lot of improvements not just to the device itself but to the accessories that are available with it and one of which so i was hunting out of a tree stand for a spring bear and uh they had one of these, which is basically you loosen this up and you can configure this. I'll show you how to detach this to the bottom of this here in a second, but, and this goes in the tree. They also have ground blind mounts, but I wasn't using that of course. And, uh, and it's really easy to, to attach to the tree. And, uh, but it was really hard to get um, out of the bracket of this. Well, they made improvements to that. So everything's been improved um, and it's really easy to use, really easy to set up. Um, they made some really important improvements so they had a lot of demand from their customers I guess from uh, they wanted the fan to be quieter and so they quieted that fan down especially when they're on the boost or their hyper boost mode you know every little thing counts in that moment of truth especially when you're in a in a tree stand because whether it's some guys set up tree stands over wallows for elk some do it for black bears of course white-tailed deer I mean on and on there's a lot of uses for that or even in a ground blind you're in tight quarters you're expecting tight shots you're in the animal's living room basically and you have to safeguard against everything noise scent you know all that stuff and a lot of times with us hunting out west and hunting in warmer weather maybe and hiking in you kind of sweat up one of the other things is movement of course when you're hunting in close proximity especially for archery is movement is critical and if there's one thing uh, that animals pick up on quickly is movement in an area that they're not used to seeing movement because you're in their living room. Normally you mount this 6 to 12 inches above your standing height uh, in the tree. Um, you don't want to have to reach up and adjust settings or turn it on and off or whatever when the moment of truth is coming in. So there's an, this is app enabled now and so you can control everything. Really easy to connect. You know, I kind of geek out on a lot of the new technology that is, is there from optics companies, trail cam companies, you know, whatever's just fun to use. And this was extremely easy to connect, really easy to use. They kept it simple, and we'll go through those features in a second. And or you can use the remote control. Obviously, I take this noisy carabiner off, but and it's got a Velcro wrist strap, or you can strap it onto your tree stand or whatever. And you just hold this button in for a few seconds. It automatically connects to the device, and then you can adjust the, the standard boost, hyper boost modes while you're sitting there, especially if you know there's a lot of animals coming in different directions in those low light hours, which they usually do, you can boost that ozone up just a little bit to help you out. Yep, yep. You told me too, with this unit, you can put it into a bag with clothes, yeah. right? There's a dry wash mode, and I was kind of curious what that meant. And what this is, is when you push that dry wash mode or enable it through the app, it, the unit will run for 10 minutes and then shut off automatically. 
And the reason why you would do that is Ozonix has um, scent free gear bags or lockers that you can put this in there, turn it on through the app so you're not even around it really. You know, you close up the, the, the storage unit, whatever you're using, and it will just drench basically your gear with ozone and eat all that scent away. And 10 minutes, it shuts off, you're good to go for the next trip. Yep. And, and I use that all the time. And I don't, I don't know about you, but I don't like washing my gear if I don't have to. Mm -hmm. And like my wife would cringe at this, but like <laughs> if I, I pull stuff out of the plastic, Right. Like brand new stuff. And it kind of, some of the stuff will smell like polyester. It has that yeah, like new, a warehousey smell. Yes. Yeah. I put it into a bag and I run ozone on it and it takes my new clothes from that smell to scentless. Hmm. And then I don't have to wash my clothes. So, and, and I mean, think about it. We're all paying so much for our hunting gear now too, that not just because it's a pain in the butter, it loses its efficiency uh, to wash it, but uh, it wears it out faster. Wears it out. Plain and washing it. Yep. Make it last as long as you can. Use Ozonics. Yep, exactly. So real quick here, I'm just going to do a little tutorial on the app. And so downloaded it from the Play Store. I've got an Android-based phone. They have it for iPhones also. You turn it on and uh, it instantly wants to connect. And so if you go to your settings, you can say scan for devices and it's got this device right here. If you want to rename the device, you can do that. And I named this one Eastman's Ozonics, just so we could remember. Uh, submit. And you can also check for updates. And this is a brand new unit, so of course there's no updates. And then um, you go to the information tab and there's a contact us, full customer service email and phone number. I uh, hit the home button and you can see on here, you can turn it on. You can hyper boost it, boost it, dry wash, uh, put it in the locker, whatever you're gonna do. And then at the bottom, um, they have, uh, they're getting data from the National Weather Service and it tells you what the temperature of your area is with your location enabled, uh, the wind direction, the wind speed, sunrise time, sunset times, humidity, pressure, elevation, and uh, lat long. So pretty cool little That's feature and it's, and it's pretty simple. That's all it is. It's not menu after menu after menu. It's just really easy to use and I, I think that's ingenious. It's kind of fun to geek out over this stuff and, and to be moving as little as possible when you're in the stand in case you have to make adjustments. I, I have to admit, I'm eating my words because I, I thought initially when some of this stuff came out that maybe it was a little gimmicky or whatever, but it works. I've witnessed it. We've got friends that witnessed it. You've got tons of you know, firsthand use yep. and it flat works for any style of hunting. And, uh, and there's different purposes. So maybe you're an ounce counting backcountry hunter. Yeah, maybe you're not going to pack this unit, you know, 20 miles in the backcountry or something, but, um, but there's tons of other uses for it. Like you yeah. said, there's the truck um, usage and then uh, the lockers and all that. But this HR 500 is the newest piece from Ozonix. It's brand new and it's just exciting to see some of the things they're doing, you know, what they're bringing to market. Because if they did this and the products we've already used, what's next? Exactly. Should be cool. Yep.